In this video, I want to show you how to analyze uh, local Google ransomware. So I want to point to some tricks that can be used um, during reverse engineering. For example, how to debug um, simultaneously master and slave processes of local uh, Goga and how to find out the algorithm ID used uh, for encryption. But first, let's start from basic uh, static analysis so we can use for example PID to find out uh, if the file is packed or encrypted so here we can see nothing found we can also use a crypto analyzer to find what crypto signatures are inside of the file and we can see indeed there is a crypto code in particular hash uh, functions, um, AES uh, with the re reindial algorithm and uh, also cryptgen random function which was found in um, import address table. Also we can use uh, Yara signatures, for example, crypto signatures. And here we can see uh, signatures for hash functions, Rindal, which is a part of AES standard. For sure, we have some crypto inside of the ransomware. Uh, next step, we can do dynamic analysis. We're going to use uh, Process Monitor and the Process Explorer. To start Locker Goga, we can use IDA which uh, will be used also to debug it later. First, let's just start it and see what will happen in Process Explorer. As you can see, we have uh, several new processes. Let's uh, suspend it and get precise look at every such process. I'm going to uh, kill other workers, so I will have more resources for analysis. So the first process, as you can see, it was started using minus m argument and which is stands for master process and another one was executed using uh, minus e then the name of the uh, shared memory object and minus s stands that uh, this process is slave or worker. So the file is located in temp folder and if we open process monitor and uh, actually we need only create process uh, operations. Uh, in process monitor we will see that two processes have been created. Um, the first one, as you can see, it was used to start actually uh, to move the ransomware file using uh, command line to temp folder under the name, under the new name. And the second process created with the minus M switch from the temp folder. And this is our master process. Uh, if we adjust filter so we will see mm. 
how slave processes are created as well. Then we can uh, start debugging. So I'm going to terminate current processes. And now I want to set up breakpoint on create process uh, in order to be able to um, create it, uh, all spawn processes in suspended state. So I can uh, open another instance of debugger and attach it to this process. So I have create process function here and found the references where this function was called. Set breakpoint. And now I can run. Uh, the file is missing because it was moved to temp folder. I can go to temp folder to find the copy of the file and uh, get it back to the original location so I can run my debugger. Or I can just change, change the reference to the file, to the new uh, instance in the temp folder. Here, I either hit the first uh, appearance of the create process call. And uh, let's take a look at the command line. As you can see, all the arg arguments are uh, commented. So the command line in EDX, you can see this is a white char and therefore create process uh, with suffix W is used. And we can convert it to Unicode and see that this is actually called to command line to move the original local global ransomware to temp folder under new name with the ID 4972. We can resume the process and see the next appearance of the create process W call. And here again, we go to EDX and see and this is the start of our master process. So I want to uh, create it in suspended state, therefore I can play with the creation flag. And I want to set, set this flag and to call uh, my process in suspended state. As you can see, all the arguments uh, have been pushed already into the stack. So I need to modify this value in stack. And uh, this is the one, two, three, four, five, uh, six argument. So I need to count to six argument in stack. And here I need to change the value from zero to four which stands for the uh, suspended process, create a suspended process flag. I apply the value and then I start it and let's see in uh, process explorer where we are. Yes. The process was successfully created and in suspended state. Next, I need to open another instance of FIDA. I can select any binary from here. 
because this is just copy of the ransomware and attach to process. This is our master process currently suspended. So I successfully attach my debugger. Then I need to resume. And here again, I need to set up breakpoint on create process call. And I can resume it. So we have exception, we can pass it to application. And here we have a create process call. Now, as you can see, this is a um, uh, create process call for ASCII string, one byte string. And let's take a look at um, at the command line. So we have here the address. And this is our slave process, as you can see. OK, uh, let's do the same trick and change the creation flag. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, again, six from the beginning and we need to count the six, find the six uh, really pushed um, to the stack from the, from the top of the stack. One, two, three, four, five, six and change it to four. And then we can check the created process that was created in suspended state.